Welcome back to Figure Feedback, and today I'm going to be reviewing the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label Batman from DC vs. Vampires. You can get this at Walmart. It's $20. Here's a look at the back. So basically, we're getting Batman as a vampire. I haven't read this particular story, but I do believe there's about 12 different comic books that make up the entire storyline. So uh, yeah, go ahead and check that out in a digital form or physical form if you want to catch up with the story. All right, so let's open up this guy, take a closer look at him. There are two different things that I really do like about this figure. But before I jump into that, let me first show you the card that you get. This is a drawing. It is not just a picture of the figure. And these are the types of cards that I like the most. And on the back, you have the data file where you can read up about good old Bruce Wayne. And you get the regular circular base and the battle axe with the Batman symbol on it. So the first thing that I really do like about this figure it makes it different from all of the other many types of Batman that I have in this collection is the color of his costume. It is not black. It is not gray. It's so kind of like a darkish brown, almost going into purple. It's I don't know what you would call this color, but it is very different. And when I looked at it inside of the box, that's the thing that struck me the most outside of the vampiric face of Batman. Of course, it is definitely the coloration of most of his costume here. And then you got the nice, big, fat bat symbol right there on the chest. We have a very lighter brown utility belt here. And I think it just goes really well with the coloration of everything else. Not sure what this color is, but I do in fact like it. We move them along the back, regular standard black cape, a lot, a lot of different waves in it, swooping ever so slightly to one side. So, you know, it gives that sense of motion. Always nice to see that in an action figure. But now let me just take this base away and this accessory. Well, actually first, I'll tell you about this accessory, this battle ax here. So this battle ax, I think it looks pretty cool. I like the fact that it has the bat symbol there and the fact that they used a few different colors to kind of make it stand out. But McFarlane's weapon accessories, particularly these, these melee type weapons and bows, I think can be done better. I think these are some of the most basic types of, um, of paint applications that you can put on a figure. And I think that they could do better. So I'm thinking about maybe doing something to this battle axe just to make it look a little bit more uh, premium. So I may check that out in the future. Something really simple, not complicated at all. All right, now the second thing that I really do like about this Batman figure is the articulation. I think this Batman has some really, really good articulation. So we're going to start at the top and work our way down first for the head. All right, so you move his head up that much. Not a whole lot, okay, but you know, you can do that. But moving it down, I feel like you get a lot more range and moving it down than you do moving it up. And it doesn't even start to look weird on the back once you move it to that extreme. So we pretty much have his chin down to his chest. You know, it's kind of like that classic stoic kind of Batman. Some of the other articulation you have, you know, you got the uh, arms that you move up and down. And of course, that they butterfly in and out, kind of like that. But you got yourself some really cool double jointed elbows here. You can see how close you can get that hand to his body. So that's great. You can do the same thing on the other side. You got this open hand here. And then you have the weapon holding hand right here. No alternate hand accessories. So you get that. And then the torso. Very nice and smooth from the left and to the right. Really opens itself up for some great posability. But those double jointed elbows I think are really good. And then also the biggest thing. Look at this. We got full splits here. Look how wide apart you can spread those legs. Look how high that kick can get. Now that is some really good leg articulation. I love it when you can stretch it so far out that way. That is really, really good. And we got ourselves some double jointed knees to the point where if we kind of just lift it up a bit, you can see the back of that leg 
goes almost all the way to his lower back. You can even get him into a pose like this. So if you got yourself a stand or you string him up somewhere, you can have him doing a flying kick and it looks completely legitimate. So really great articulation on the legs. And then you got the toe articulation there down at the boot, but there is no boot cut. And then of course with the feet, they rotate and they pivot from side to side. So this Batman definitely gets high marks for the articulation. And not all Batman have the same type of articulation, but this one is definitely one to beat. I haven't had the easiest time getting him to stand up on his own. So for him, I'm definitely going to be using this base just to give him a little bit more support. But this gold label Batman figure, I think the biggest highlight for him is definitely going to be that articulation. Um, and the suit is a different color than what we usually get with Batman figures. I know underneath it all, it's still Batman. I know a lot of people are tired of just seeing Batman, but I think that you can justify it when you can make up for the same type of figure with some really good articulation and a different colored suit. And of course, the face sculpt, the paint on those, McFarlane always nails those. Even if the rest of the figure is kind of lacking, the face is almost always going to just be really, really nice. And this Batman is definitely no different. We got some blood splatter there on his face. We got the eyes that are just completely uh, whited out with a little bit of red on it. And we got some gnarly teeth with some kind of a tan skin underneath there. So yeah. It looks really nice, that face sculpt. And I think that this is a good figure. Now, if you are into the whole vampire thing, they do have a Joker that's coming out pretty soon. So you can pair him with this here Batman and have yourself a little vampire showdown, if you will. So that's it, you guys. So that's the McFarlane Toys Gold Label Batman from DC vs. Vampires. Pick it up at Walmart. $20 and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed with it. It's different enough for me to give him a recommendation. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Figure Feedback and I'll see you all soon.